Yeah, it's been good. I've had um, I've been lucky enough to have Scott McLaren as my coach and mentor for since 2014, and he's just given me two or three things every week to work on, um, and and that's just you know gradually got more specific and, and better, you know, and more I guess um, tailored to an AFL program. So, and eventually I've I've got to a standard where you know I'm hopefully um, going to have a career at AFL level. So it's been. Fantastic! I think you know everyone talks about the people you meet in umpiring being um, the best thing about it, and I completely agree with that. Um, I'm still surprised that more ex players don't do it because it is a, a, a great um, job. Um. Started being a boundary umpire and learned how to boundary umpire with the Vafa and sort of be a good way to just make a bit of coin on the on the weekend and um, sort of. After a year on the boundary, saw the light and came into the field and never looked back really. Um, and yeah, again, similar to G, just sort of started as a job as a teenager in high school and then you just sort of see, well, how far can we actually go mm -hmm. with this and um, run with it if I actually put my yep. best foot forward, so, and here we are today. One team was beating the other convincingly, but I didn't. I had no idea by how much. So yeah, I was, I was too focused. Um, well, he's the best. He's just the best at what he does, and he's humble about it as well. But he's sort of when he gets interviewed, he knows he's confident without being arrogant. If that makes sense, uh, I really I rate that. Um, yeah. And you, Nick? Similar reasons. Um, been such a high achiever for such a long period of time and again that humbleness that you see every time he speaks, even when he's on the court, like you never see him get too flustered or frustrated by anything. That composure that he has, um, I think has kept him at such an elite level for such a long period of time. There you go. Um, I love the way he bounces, he just smashes the ball. And I, you know, we talked when we did the VFL granny together. We were talking about who takes the first bounce, and he's like, oh, "I want to take it because I'll smash, <laughs> I'll smash it straight up." Um, short stints in the mid zone. <laughs> Just, I turned it on, I reckon, for five minutes on Saturday night to watch his debut, and I think I looked up at and the clock read nineteen twenty-seven to go into the first, and he was already out of the mid zone. So, no, I think um, on a serious note, geez work rate and his work ethic, um, you know, he's progressed his career um, quite quickly such to a really high standard, so, and that comes back to his work ethic um, and what he's prepared to do out there on the field and actually go the extra mile and take on that coachability and the feedback that he receives and um, really put that into practice. Yeah.